Hi, I'm Ayman. Welcome back to one of my home security and video surveillance systems videos. And today, I'm going to do basically a comeback review on the HiCU NVR and how well this system has been functioning after six months. Because we bought this system back in late August, so right now it's late March, so it's almost seven months to the date. So we've already done 20 videos on the this, the, this HiCU NVR and the cameras. Um, go check them out. We've also recently or I, I should say today, we've just done a video on how to um, view, playback, and backup um, old files and footage from the NVR. And recently, we also uh, did a video on how to change the time and date settings. So as you can see, there's a lot of nuances and intric intricacies about this product. But today, we're going to be doing a sort of general overview just for the people who are, are currently on the fence about getting a, a security camera system like this. All right, but... Going back to the 20 videos that we've, uh, we've done, there are some comments on my videos that are asking about um, certain things about the product. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to answer some of them or respond to some of them because I've been so busy with schoolwork in the past. But really, some of these questions should have been directed at HiCU <laughs> because there are some of these questions I can't answer, especially since we don't work for HiCU. Now then, talking about the camera itself or the camera system itself, it's actually been pretty good. Over the past seven months, uh, me and my family have uh, very thoroughly enjoyed it. My mom uses it a lot to check when I come home from school. Uh, you know, to be honest, there are some minor degradations in quality or Wi-Fi. Um, most of the time when you expect it. Like for this backyard camera, the one that's like 100 feet away, um, it cuts out. It doesn't even cut out that often. It cuts out like once or twice a day. And sometimes the cameras cut out when there's uh, rain or snow. However, um, there's this one camera, which I have to estimate, it's directly over there. It's about 20 to 30 to 40 feet. Uh, you know, just to clarify, like, the, the, this one in the garage, which is 40 feet away, it's actually been working pretty well. That's why we have it as the main one. This one in the garage, which should be about uh, 60, 70 uh, feet away, it's working pretty good. And I should correct myself, this is actually uh, 75 feet away. But talking about these three cameras, this one is the closest one, this one's the second closest, and this one's the third closest, so it's about in the middle. This one's about 20 feet away from here. And my dad has been trying to figure out why it's saying network unreachable. He's been, he's been trying to um, troubleshoot it to figure out why the network unreachable thing kept showing up. Why this camera kept cutting out. So first off, he tried to reset it, he took the camera down uh, because there is no reset button. He, he, and then he brought it all the way back to the NVR to reconnect it. Once he did, he set it back up, and then uh, a day later, it cut off. Then he tried to re um, replace the um, power supply, and it had a higher output, uh, I think one, uh, 2 amps instead of 1 amps. And still again, it cut out. So he thought, there must be something wrong with the Wi-Fi. It, it might be the chip inside the uh, camera. So then he tried to swap it with the camera that's over here. This one's the first closest, I will remind you. And then he put the other camera on this side. Now the other camera seemed to work fine, but the one that was here kept cutting out. So then he realized, yeah, of, uh, no, he concluded, yeah, of course, it's uh, this camera. I mean, this camera. So uh, he concluded that there must be something wrong with the uh, Wi-Fi chip inside the camera. All right, so at this point, now we get to uh, another question. This camera is still under warranty. It, they have a one year warranty and it's only been six months or seven months. Here's the question now. Is the company gonna honor this warranty? Are they gonna stand by their product? Because we've seen in our comments that uh, according to people that HiCU hasn't um, uh, honored certain people's warranties. So what we're going to do is we're going to email HiCU and ask them uh, if they could probably replace this camera and Probably in, in a few weeks or so, we're going to get back to you with another video. And it's probably going to be a comeback video on the customer service of HiCU. Now, keep in mind, uh, in the pre in previous videos that we've done, HiCU uh, customer service has been pretty receptive. I mean, one time they replaced a power supply, I think. So, I mean, uh, in, in our past experiences, they have been good. But now we want to see how good they are with honoring their warranties. So keep uh, keep a lookout for that video. But for now... Uh, we're gonna have to deal with this uh, camera. <laughs> Alright, so I'll go back to uh, talking about the comments. So, most of them, 
even though I'm not sure if they've been from actual people or from uh, competitor companies, but most of them have been from talking about how HiCU isn't really addressing the technical problems with their um, with their products. And that uh, we don't have any examples right now. You can go to our videos to see those comments, but uh, it, it really seems like HiCU, if you have a technical problem with your camera, according to these commenters, they're not going to respond, basically. Um, also, another thing, these two cameras, uh, I said earlier, they're about 60, and 70, uh, 60 to 75 feet away. Um, just a disclaimer, you're not going to get good quality if your camera is probably more than 40 or 50 feet. This one is probably the max that you can get with, while getting good quality. In order to get good quality at a greater range, you have to use a Wi-Fi repeater. So distance is not the issue here if you're thinking about that with this uh, camera. But anyway, uh, we have a video on if you want to learn how to use the Wi-Fi repeater uh, on my channel, so go and check that out. But anyway, we're going to have to see what that warranty leads us or where that warranty leads us. All right, so stay tuned for that video. Uh, keep in mind, we're like the average Joes. We actually don't work for high CU. Uh, some, some people apparently think that. Um, and also, even my brother, who is an MIT engineer, computer scientist, even he doesn't really know how to how to work out how to use most of the NVR. So a lot of the things that we do are by the average Joe's perspective. And in, in the case of customer service, it's also going to be from the perspective of anyone who just happens to buy a security camera system. But for now, that's it. I'm Memon, and today I showed you how to... Wait, I didn't show you how to do anything. Today I reviewed... Uh, I, I, I sort of reflected upon the past six months with our uh, NVR and set out basically what we're going to do in the next few weeks, which is um, sort out that warranty. But for now, um, check out my videos on uh, that I did today on how to view your file playback, back up your files, and change your time and date settings. But for now, that's it. So, did I do my closing right? That's it. I, I, I'm, I'm just going to close anyway. I'm Aiman, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, look at videos on I and Aiman. And let's see, are we going to do another video? If we ever think of any uh, future uh, um, ideas on what to do with this high CU NVR, then we'll do it. But I'll see you there. So, I'm Ayman and signing out. Peace.